Hello, today I'd like to discuss some different ideas for adaptive tools in the art classroom. First, I have two tennis balls. I got these at the dollar store. What I did was took a screwdriver, stuck it in, didn't go all the way through, pulled it out, and put my tool inside. For this one, I'm using a paintbrush because it's a thinner tip. Really good for someone with not fully developed fine motor skills. The second one, I poked two holes with the screwdriver next to each other and very good for pencil, color pencil, so on. Next, I have this tool, which we've seen for cleaning dishes. However, what I do when I buy it, I make the hole a little bigger than what it comes with, fill it up with a primary color paint, and it allows the student, someone that either doesn't have much range of motion, able to have an extension of their arm, also a little more control, and they're able to use texture in it and also mix if you put a primary color in here. Next I have hair rollers, hair curlers. What I do is I take out the plastic applicator and once again I put them over a paintbrush, a color pencil, and this way someone with maybe a little more fine motor skills but not quite fully developed can utilize it a little more easily. This one, all the students love. This is from All Your Broken Crayons at the end of the year. Take off the paper, put them in a cup, a plastic cup, bake them for at 350 in the oven or toaster oven for about five to ten minutes and what you'll get, let it cool. Really cool looking crayon. Also all the students love it and it's really good for somebody that maybe can't grip that small crayon or has a little bit of trouble with, with the texture of um, the paper. That's why usually you'll see them peeling them off. But these are some ideas I have right now. I hope this was helpful. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you.